Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope you are all doing very very good and very very well. I'm not sure how much good you are doing because now it's for the coronavirus we are all staying at home. Uh, anyway, we have to because this is the safe option. Uh, at the same time I was thinking maybe I'm gonna show you some very easy and very quick dinner or lunch preparation in this uh, staying home uh, situation because sometimes we don't have too much options for food uh, because it's quite shortage of foods everywhere so I'm gonna show you one of my uh, favorite and easy roast dinner which you can these ingredients what I'm using you're gonna find very easily in any super shop nowadays even if it's a shortage of uh, chicken shortage of lamb beef so many meats and fishes you obviously gonna find some sausages like chicken Chicken sausage pork sausage beef sausage and some regular veggies which is really available still so and you can make this very easy uh, dish very quickly and you can feed your whole family because sometimes your mind is not really want to cook but you have to cook because you have to feed your whole family loving family and this is the one of the easiest dish so stay with me and enjoy the whole process So to make my easy dinner, I took here one packet of chicken sausages. So uh, I'm making this dinner for two people. So to one packet of sausages perfectly um, uh, perfect amount for us and this is chicken sausage because I don't eat any red meat like po uh, uh, lamb or beef or even not even pork uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm just using one toothpick just to make some holes in my sausages because when I'm gonna uh, marinate my um, sausages with the spices the spice gonna go inside my sausages because already a uh, sausage have really yummy taste but at the same time I want a little bit more so that's why I'm just making some holes with the toothpick you can use fork as well but toothpick is much easier so that's what I'm doing now so I'm just making the holes here at the same time in the sauce in the same um, bowl I took actually some vegetables so what I done I took some carrots here and I quite like chunky pieces of carrots because trust me when you're gonna roast your carrot and the piece is chunky it's gonna be much sweeter than the thin pieces so just try it you're gonna love it and I took some uh, capsicum I prefer the green color because my carrot is orange but it's up to you which color you're gonna like uh, you're gonna use so some chunky pieces of peppers and some red onions because when I'm gonna roast my whole dish this uh, red onion gonna be really sweet and caramelized so it's quite a lot chunky a lot of chunky pieces of uh, red onions at the at the same time two clove of finely chopped garlic uh, for six sausages two clove of garlic is fine so it's finely chopped so now I'm gonna add some spices uh, in before I roast my everything. So I'm gonna add here two teaspoon of plain paprika. This is not smoked paprika. This is plain paprika uh, because this paprika gonna give really good kind of paprika flavor and uh, really good red color as well. So I'm adding like around two teaspoon of it. You can uh, go for uh, smoked paprika, but trust me, smoked paprika gonna be too much because already your sausage have really good kind of taste. So I don't want to overpower my dish. So two teaspoon of it. And now I'm gonna add around half teaspoon of black pepper powder. I don't need too much of black pepper powder because this, everything is quite smoky here. Just half teaspoon of black pepper powder. That's gonna give really good kind of smokiness and heat. At the same time, I'm using this Maggi Masala. Uh, this Maggi Masala is available everywhere nowadays because you're going to find very easily in any kind of super shop. It comes like this kind of packet and you're going to find 12 inside. Like this is the noodles company, uh, came from the noodles company and that, that's the spices you can add in your chicken, in your beef, in any kind of thing. And that's if you ever tried Maggi noodles, this is the same actually spices you can, uh, you're going to get with the noodles. It's just separate spices. And trust me, every time you roast your chicken or your uh, this kind of sausages or vegetables or even potatoes trust me add some of these spices it's amazing it's so flavorful it's so good and I'm adding one packet of it because these spices are quite strong so I don't need too much one packet is fine for it so one packet of this but if you are making more just add two packet of it and at the same time, I'm going to add a little bit of salt because my sausages have salt and this spice mixture have salt. So I don't need too much salt, just a little bit of salt. 
at the same time i'm gonna add around two tablespoon of olive oil as well because this is quite healthy dish that's why i'm using olive oil so two teaspoon of olive oil and then i'm gonna mix everything and i'm gonna put it in my tray I already gave a good massage to my vegetables and my sausages so you can see it's all ready and I already put it in my baking tray where I'm gonna roast actually my uh, everything and it's ready to go in the av uh, oven and trust me the smell is coming from here oh my god it's so good At the same time, I took actually some broccoli florets because this is an easy, um, quick roast dinner. Uh, so I need something to make quick. So this is actually the the uh, box or bowl, you can say, uh, container. This is actually microwave proof because I'm going to steam these broccolis in uh, microwave because that's much easier and much quicker. Uh, you can do it on the hob because my, um, my purpose of this video is to make a quick dish. That's why uh, I'm going to do everything in my, uh, if all the steam in my microwave and this is a microwave uh, pot you can use any kind of microwave uh, proof container there is no problem in it but I prefer this one because um, you know I like this container it's so cute and I took some broccoli florets and I added here one tablespoon of water what water gonna do water gonna make my broccoli florets really moist and really green if you don't add this water your broccoli florets gonna be really dry and really brown and uh, that's not gonna be very good to look so never uh, put your broccoli without adding a little bit of water so I added like around one tablespoon of water here just normal tap water and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for six minutes for this amount of broccoli flour six minutes is fine not too not too long otherwise it's gonna be overcooked so five to six minutes and after that it's gonna be done you can add a little bit of salt as well but I, I'm not gonna add any salt because I don't like my vegetables with salt when I'm steaming so you can add a little bit of salt and black pepper it's up to you but this is ready to go in the microwave it is in the microwave for five to six minutes and uh, it's like high temperature just normal microwave high temperature that's it so I'm gonna serve my roast sausages with mashed potato and for that I actually took quite big four big potatoes here uh, you can add uh, use the small potatoes there is no uh, problem if you add like small or medium potatoes but I have I, I prefer big potatoes because they're quite soft and smooth so that one also I'm gonna steam in the microwave because as I said this is the part of my quick dish quick roast uh, dinner uh, so that's why I have to do everything in microwave and what I done I wash my potatoes very nicely with the water and it clean all the dust and everything and I added just sprinkle of water in my plate because that's also gonna do the same thing it's gonna make my potato really soft and moist and it's gonna, it gonna steam my potato really really nicely so never um, don't forget to add a little bit of water like sprinkle of water and what I'm gonna do in a microwave proof plate and then I'm gonna cover it with a food cover uh, this is just regular plastic food cover when we uh, put our uh, food in the microwave it comes with the microwave or you can buy separate but if you have any container you can use container as well it's up to you but that's how I'm gonna do it because it's easy for me and now I'm gonna put it in the oven uh, microwave and I'm gonna steam it so for these big potatoes I'm gonna actually microwave it for 20 minutes 18 to 20 minutes and that's it uh, it's not gonna take more than that 18 to 20 minutes but if you feel your uh, potato need to be steamed a little bit more just uh, maybe add another five minutes or four minutes you can do it after that afterwards so there is no problem but for me this one 18 minutes is fine or 20 minutes is fine so here you go my potato is done it actually took actually 16 minutes not even 20 minutes it was much quicker and I didn't have to check anything it was like perfectly done you can see and I can show you how nicely steamed is this look at that when I'm pressing it it's just going like like really smooth and creamy you can see it's really really good if you steam it in microwave it's easy and it's time consuming and it's no hassle no problem so my potatoes are nicely mashed you can see it's like there is no lump now I'm adding around three to four tablespoon of full fat milk because I'm I'm just making like basic mashed potato which we always make in our home and that's what I like I don't like too much of fussiness or too much of ingredients in my mashed potato so I just added like around three four uh, tablespoon of milk here 
around one teaspoon of black pepper powder. I quite like quite a lot of black pepper powder in my mashed potato. I'm adding a little bit of salt, like, like maybe around half teaspoon or one teaspoon. I also don't like too much uh, salt in my mashed potato, but you can add a little bit more if you want. And at the same time, around half teaspoon of nutmeg powder. If you don't have nut nutmeg powder, you can skip that part. But trust me, if you have, just add a little bit of nutmeg. Mashed potato with nutmeg goes so good. It's so yummy. Just that much amount of nutmeg gonna make your mashed potato out of the world. It's so good. And just now I'm gonna mix everything together and that's it, my mashed potato gonna be done. It's so easy and so simple. So my mashed potato is done. I just cut a little bit of chive on top. This is optional just to make it pretty. But yeah, that's how it looks and it's so yummy. So here you go guys, this is my easy, very easy, super quick, easy roasted dinner is ready for you and as you noticed how easy it was, it was really really um, uh, super easy and all the ingredients was really available and trust me uh, as I said before that if you don't want to cook, if your mind is somewhere else and you are sad, this is one of the easiest dinner you can make very quickly and you can feed your whole family. So I hope you're gonna like this recipe and you're gonna make it and enjoy with your whole family and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends family and neighbors and uh, yeah just like my channel and subscribe my channel and inspire me for more recipes so take care bye bye live healthy stay safe and stay home bye bye Ta -da.